In general, muscles that span longer distances will be more superficial than muscles that span shorter distances. In flexor digitorum profundus and flexor digitorum superficialis are kind of an example of an exception of this. In these muscles, the tendon of flexor digitorum profundus actually has a longer span than that of the more superficial muscle, flexor digitorum superficialis. And they achieve this by kind of cheating. And you can see that the tendon of flexor digitorum superficialis is split, and that the deeper tendon, the blue, shoots out between that split to continue out um, onto the distal phalanx. So what that looks like, just using a simple model, this blue represents the tendon of flexor digitorum profundus. You can see it comes out along like this, inserts here just distal to the distal interphalangeal joint. And when you contract that muscle, it serves to flex, to flex the distal interphalangeal joint and helps flex the proximal interphalangeal joint as well as the metacarpal phalangeal joint. Now, if we add the tendon of flexor digitorum superficialis, you can see it inserts just distal to the proximal interphalangeal joint. And when you contract that muscle, it flexes the proximal interphalangeal joint and the metacarpal phalangeal joint. So putting these two together, so you flex the fingers. Now one thing that's interesting about this relationship is that it's possible to sever the tendon of flexor digitorum profundus without affecting the tendon of flexor digitorum superficialis. If you lacerate the finger right here, you can sever the tendon. You lose the ability to flex the distal interphalangeal joint, the proximal interphalangeal joint, and the metacarpal phalangeal joint will be unaffected. And what happens is when you do that is you wind up in a situation where when you flex your fingers, it's impossible to flex that distal, distal interphalangeal joint. And the reason I know this is because I severed that tendon accidentally uh, when I lacerated my hand while washing dishes. So there's no ability to flex that distal joint. 